So I just wanted to spend a few minutes giving you a quick rundown of the new Google Sites. I've just been given early access, so I thought I'd jump in and show you exactly how this might work. So with the new Google Sites, it's going to be available straight from Google Drive. So we just have to click the new button, then more, then Google Sites. That's going to give us a blank Google Site. This is what it looks like. Very kind of web two and modern and a huge, huge improvement on what we had before. So what I'm actually going to attempt to do here is recreate my site that I've made previously using Bootstrap. So here is my current website. And I wanted to see how easy it would be uh, to create something very, very similar to this, just a one page site um, in Google Sites. And the first thing we'll do is start with the page title at the top here. So I'm just going to put my name in there for that. And then I want to change this image. So every page in the new Google Sites has this header section here with an image behind it. There are lots of pictures we can choose uh, from the gallery here, a really nice selection, or you can upload your own. So I'm just going to upload something I have here. Now the great thing about this is once I insert this image, Google Sites is going to analyze it and then adjust the readability based on that picture. You see there it's made it slightly darker so that we can see the text a little better. If I turn that off, we can see what the image originally looks like. And actually I want to move this down. So currently there isn't a way for me really to drag this box any lower. So I can drag it left and right, but you can't make it lower. So the way to do this is just to press the return key. Okay, so looking back at my site, the next thing uh, I need to do is probably create another line here, maybe a green bar across here. So all I do is I click the text button up here and put in uh, my text. Now, the new Google Sites is attempting to manage all of the details for you so that you can make a really beautiful looking site without having to worry about the specifics. So if I click here at normal text, you see there are only actually four different text styles in this theme right now. I don't have any control over the size of these. I just choose one uh, and they're all done for me. So I'm actually gonna go over here though and choose this palette icon and change this row, this section of the page to be emphasis two. Now right now it's chosen the color blue. That's because in the theme here, I've got the color blue selected and I'm gonna change that to the green uh, that I use in my site here. That's good, so we're gonna go here um, and Let's make this a heading and put it in the center like this. Great, then when I want some more text, again, I can click on the text box button up here or I can double click uh, on any section of the page and choose the text button here and then add in my text. So the next piece of text I need to add in is here. So it just says my services. Again, just choose the title style. I'm gonna choose heading. And then I want to add some text underneath that. Great. And so. As you can see, Google Sites works in these sections here, and I can actually click and drag these sections if I wanted to move them around once I'm done. Um, and then I could just add some more text again. Like this. Now you can see this is fairly quick and easy to use right now. So I can drag this just to make it smaller like this. And then if I want more text, I can just double click and do the second box here. Put the title and make that a subheading uh, like so. And again, I can just drag this to make it smaller. So the other thing I can do is when I have a box of text selected like this, I can actually just copy and paste again and then move that into the section. And so that means I'm going to definitely get four equal boxes, for example, if I want um, four columns. Uh, so that's nice and simple. I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this one and move these up a, a small amount here because I want to insert an image. So I've resized the boxes here so that they're all the same size and I've got space for an image next to each one. So I'm just going to go to images. And the great thing here is I can search the web for an image. So let's find a checkbox icon like so. I'm going to choose that one and it's inserted it here. Now, as I said earlier, Google Sites is trying to do all of the work for you here. It won't let me size this image so that it's stretched, which is a great feature, I think. It means that you can be a complete novice and I can just drag this then up into this section here if I click this button, it keeps it the same size, but make sure I can see the whole image. So let's add another one like this. And again, I'm just gonna resize that down very slightly like so, and drag it, um, in fact, over here. And then another one like so, and drag that down. And again, just put this up here. So this whole thing is very quick. My original site probably took me a few days to properly get everything working together. Whereas when I've been trying this, I was actually able to make this site in half an hour. And here's what I came up with, like this, if we scroll through, 
I've tried to copy as much as I can my original site. So if I click the preview icon now, the new Google Sites give me an option uh, to preview just for desktop. This is what it will look like on computer. Or I can switch to the tablet view. Or I can switch to the mobile view. And you see it's completely responsive. It does a great job of working across devices with all those images as well. And that is really it. That's the new Google Sites. For complete novices who need to build a really good looking website very quickly, you can't go wrong with this. I think it would almost be impossible to create a bad looking Google site using this new system. And there you have it. If you've got any questions, leave them as comments and I'll come back with another video covering some more of the features.